Good morning and uh, happy uh, Canadian Thanksgiving. It is sort of the beginning of October. Pretty beautiful up in the Halliburton and Wilberforce Bancroft area this time of year. Um, I was going to go to Schickler's in Desmont Mine and do a couple of videos there and find some rocks today, but uh, the municipal office and the food land and everywhere you can get permission to go there is all close today for the holiday. So I uh, took consideration, looked at my book here. Uh, I was going to go to Diamond Lake Road Cut. It's a little bit further away and uh, Essenville Road Cut just down the road from where you get the permission to go to... Uh, Schickler's and Desmont, but uh, that's also down the road from the, the Tight Night Hill there too. So I was thinking, okay, I'll go to Essenville Road Cut, make a video, and I'll stop by Tight Night Hill on the way home and see what I can find there. It's always promising to go there. So uh, let's so see. Here we up. are, Essenville Road Cut. Uh, that's the far side of the road. Lots of mica stuff like that over there. Uh, everybody actually comes to. Essenville Road Cut for the Floral Richterite, which is a rare occurring mineral. It doesn't occur very many places in the world. I'll show you where it is here before I get to work. So you can sort of see, now this is all busted up and blown to pieces, but all these, this is all Floral Richterite in here. Like I said in my other video, it looks a lot like the black horn blend that you get. Uh, there's other stuff around here too, but I'm going to get to it and I'll All let right, you know so I've been I... working on a little hole here. I was hoping to find some nice big stuff down there, but what I'm finding is a lot of loose little pieces of mica. So it's all sort of, it's all everywhere here. It's all in the soil. You, can, you can't miss it. It's pretty nice. Like it's... Hard to tell here because it's kind of dark. Let me see if I can focus in. There we go. Seems to be really flat. Not like the horn blend known as Magnesio Cataphorate, I think it's called. So I've been working on this hole. Uh, got a couple little pieces of floral Richterite. Uh, it's everywhere here. It's like Anywhere in the soil, like there's, there's a piece right here, like everywhere really. Like I could just pick it up all over the place, all kinds of little pieces. Um, lots of mica around here too. I had a piece right here I found in my the hole I was working on. Okay, hexagonal. I like that kind of stuff too. So I'll hold on to that. Uh, so I just wanted to show you how you kind of see it. It's almost everywhere. I wish the sun was on this side of the hill here. I'm not really finding anything big in the hole. Uh, I'll give it a little bit longer, see if I can come across something amazing. If not, off the tight night hill where I'm bound to find something amazing. Another pocket here. Pulling out lots of uh, fluorichterite. I'm hoping to find a, a bigger piece that's maybe attached to some other stuff. Like these are all fairly fair sized pieces. They're all broken and stuff like that. I don't know if. I don't know if, if they form in a solid crystal or not, because I haven't been able to see one that's all one piece. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm finding. It's a really nice day. The leaves are falling all around me here. and So I'm going to keep at it a little while longer, maybe try another hole. I am getting a lot out of this spot here. Uh, I just want to see if I can maybe find something a little different than what's here. And then I'll be able to take a, tri a trip across the road as well. So... Some of these are actually really shiny and gemmy. You won't be able to tell till we wash them off, so. So I thought I'd get a closer look here of the fluorichterite rock. Here's my hand here, I guess you want to get a reference of the size. This here would probably be the biggest fluorite crystal, fluorichterite crystal around here that I can tell. But like, like you can see in the rock, I'm not sure if any of these actually formed a full crystal or not, like a terminated crystal on either end. Also in here, see a lot of mica. You can see it's... I always wondered if it actually formed hexagonal shapes, and it does. You really see the shine off the leaves, the sun on them on the other across the street. That's where the light's coming from. So, uh... 
Yeah, I really like this kind of mica too. It's, I guess it's biotite mica. It'd be nice to find a big chunk of that, but uh, for now, it's too bad the sun's not shining all this fluororichterite because it might be pretty nice when the sun's shining on it. So uh, I'm gonna go across, across the street. The road. And take a video. Looks me. like there's some uh, fluororichterite over here as well. You can see it inside the white calcite there. It's also a lot of mica. You can see here there's some really big flakes. Oh, let's see, get it in the sunshine. Yeah, got that cool gold metallic color. Here's a whole bunch of it right here. I'm trying to get a video of that. There's a big bunch of it right there shining away. See if so I can that's find it for uh, Essenville Road Cut. Uh, I found a couple nice rocks on the other side of the road. This one has a little bit of mica. It looks like it's on floral Richterite. Hard to tell because it's light out here. Uh, but once we get it cleaned up, we'll take a look. See if it's nice. Looks kind of nice. Until then, I'm headed off to Titanite Hill for a little bit, a couple hours, I think. Still at the leave Essenville Road Cut. Here's a couple BMW rally cars. You just never know what you'll see when you're out rock hounding. And again, beautiful day. I've made it to Titanite Hill. There's a nice picture of the fall leaves over there. Let's give you a contrast from another Titanite Hill video. I'm not going to waste any time. And so get once to again, it. back to home base. Uh, still beautiful. Still fall. Can't really tell a lot of, not so many maples and stuff to change color around the backyard here. But uh, we got a little bit of a collection today. All the stuff here on the right. This is all from the Essenville Road Cut. This would be all mostly fluorictorate and stuff. Give it a clean. It's very silvery and kind of. I wouldn't say grainy, but everything kind of grows in lines like that. Um, got some appetite there. Got a couple rocks with like a bunch of different stuff in them. I didn't, I don't think I found any titanite. If there is, there would be some in one of these rocks, but unfortunately I didn't find any titanite. So, I'll turn the holes on it. Hey Jasper. Here we go. Yeah, for me. Get out of here. Ugh. So, we got our nice big chunks of fluorite, or uh, appetite here. Nice one. Some horn blend. This is probably uh, what's it called? I can't remember the name of it now. That's a nice piece though. And then these big guys. Jasper. Hi, Jasper. So once I get these dried up, cleaned, I'll show you what's what it all looks like later. on. Hey everybody, uh, I've made it back. It's uh, later on in the week. I've made it back home. There's Bruce, the rock hound. Uh, here's what we got the uh, one day that I was out looking for stuff. Uh, everything on the right here is uh, from the Essenville Road Cut. Everything on the left is from Titanite Hill. I only had a couple hours at, uh, at Titanite Hill and you still get a lot of kind of cool stuff there. Nothing really... Uh, nothing... It's amazing as the last time. Uh, there's a couple of really nice big pieces of mica here that I found there. I was actually sort of surprised. Uh, I know there's lots of mica over at Essenville Road Cut, but uh, usually you don't find that much over at Titanite Hill, or at least I don't. But I was kind of in a different area where, than where I usually go. I went up kind of uh, up higher than the main workings and to the right of it. Uh, so I got a couple of nice big pieces here. Uh, you see the appetite in there. Get focused in here. There we go. Uh, this, you know, got a lot of ho horn blend on here as well. Still pretty dirty. Got a really interesting piece here. I'm not really sure what this crystal is. You can see that it's uh, kind of pyramid shaped. It's got another edge there on the side. I'm not really sure what that is. I don't know if it's 
apatite or what it's got a kind of a green color to it it's kind of waxy it's hard to say it's mixed in with a there's another strange looking crystal up here it's got a weird shape to it but that's kind of an interesting find to have it has some really strange cracks in it as well it seems like I wanted to crack on the seams uh, this guy I'm not really sure this guy might actually be uh, fluorichtorite or richtorite, or it might be magnesio catophorite, which is horn blend. Uh, what I did notice is when I find nice pieces of fluorichtorite, um, usually they have a nice shiny edge like that did. Here's a little piece. Let's see how it has that nice shiny like almost like a polished edge to it but when you look at other pieces like this is from Essenville Road Cut it's uh this is a shattered crystal I guess not very often I guess you get the full fluorichtorite crystals uh here's a a couple full full crystals they're not in very good shape maybe this one in the middle you can see how it has a really shiny edge there mixed in with all this mica I'll zoom in here. Kind of interesting. Still really dirty, but an interesting crystal. Uh, let's go back to the t uh, Titanite Hill stuff. So this guy, this guy's a bunch of bunch of horn blend. So uh, yeah, I don't know what happened my camera there. It sort of glitched out on me, but this is just a bunch of horn blend here. Uh, you can sort of see some shattered faces and some complete faces. It's kind of a cool crystal. It's all black. Uh, it looks like there's a little bit of appetite growing right there, but not a nice piece. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, here's another kind of crystally piece. You can get it at the right angles, and it looks really, really nice. Uh, just a piece of feldspar here. Pretty dirty. I should have cleaned it up a little bit. But that's the only feldspar I found that time. Uh, so we got a bunch of appetite. Nothing really that stands out uh, more than anything else that I already have. But, uh, you know, I always love appetite. It kind of makes the chip worth going to to find some nice green crystals. Uh, here's some, I'm not too sure if this is Richterite or if it's horn, or some other horn blend. Uh, I think it's horn blend though because I generally see this shape with my other pieces there. Magnesio Catophorite. So, I also found a couple, I'm not sure what this one is here, looks like a piece of feldspar, it's a little different, but here's a piece of pink appetite, doesn't really show up well in this light here, but it's pretty pink, it's only a little piece I found there. Now all the rest of this is from uh, Essenville Road Cut, it's still really dirty, I didn't really get a chance to go through it too much. Like I say, most of these are like shattered pieces of, of crystals. Um, on some of them, you can see where it would be a polished edge. It's kind of cool on this one. Uh, let's see here. So I also have these other ones. Uh, these have some biotype mica in it. Pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Should have probably cleaned it up a little bit better. Uh, here's just another piece of fluorichtorite. Sort of a weirder, weird looking one. And this guy too, we got this from Essenville Road Cut. You can see the fluorichtorite, fluorichtorite there. And that's, uh, you can sort of see how it was growing in there. Um, trying to find a polished edge here, so you can sort of see on this one this is fluorichtorite as well but it looks like this is will be a shattered edge and then this would be kind of the kind of crystal I think people would want to find where it would be solid incomplete crystals so you can't have everything though so Essenville Road Cut, you get some pretty cool stuff uh, if that's the kind of thing you're looking for, really dark crystals or some uh, big chunky mica. There's lots of mica there. You can't go 
if you don't go anywhere and you want to look for some big mica, go there. I was just lucky to find some over at uh, Titan Night Hill. But anyway, uh, once again, I hope everybody liked my video. And uh, see you next time.